Good morning. Welcome to class 9 physics and today we are going to study measurement and experimentation. In the second part of this chapter, we are going to learn how to solve the questions based on micrometer screw gauge, basically the numericals. And the first numerical that you can be asked is based on the pitch of the micrometer which is given as 1 millimeter. Now do we remember what is pitch? The pitch is the linear distance travelled on the main scale. As you can see in the diagram there is main scale and when the circular scale is rotated by one rotation how much linear distance it will travel that becomes the pitch of the micrometer. Now this is given as 1 millimeter. The pitch is given. And the circular scale, as you can see, the circular scale which is rotated, it has 50 equal parts. And they ask you to find the least count. So we need to know what is the least count formula. The least count of the micrometer is given by pitch upon the number of circular scale divisions. Now the pitch is 1 millimeter and the number of circular scale divisions are 50 and so it becomes 1 upon 50 millimeter which is equal to 1 upon 50 into 10 those many centimeter because one millimeter is one tenth of a centimeter and now we have one fifth one fifth is 0.2 and that upon there are two zeros remaining so that will give us 100 here those many centimeter and now you will shift the decimal by two places so you will get 0 0.002 centimeter and that is our answer as the least count. So you will see that it is giving you thousandth of a centimeter as the accuracy. So accuracy will be thousandth of a centimeter. Now let us look at question 2 where the diagram is given. Now mostly you will be given either a question like this or they may give you a diagram. And in the diagram, they will show you the main scale reading. Now, this main scale has been given in millimeters. So, this is 1 millimeter, 2 millimeter, 3 millimeter, 4 millimeter, 5 millimeter. And can you see after 6 millimeter, there is a fraction here. So, this fraction is going to be measured by the circular scale reading. So, we have 0 0.6, which is our main scale reading and the circular scale reading you have to see which division is coinciding with the main scale reading so you will see this one so out here this is this is which division count from here this is 20 this is 30 so this is 21 and 22 so 22nd division of the circular scale is coinciding. So you will see that when it is the reading to begin with when they ask you a question like this let us read the question the diagram shows the reading of a rod using a micrometer and when this screw is rotated it moves one division on the main scale. Now when the screw is rotated once I should have written that when it is rotated once that is one complete rotation it moves one division on the main scale and so that becomes the pitch what is pitch pitch is the distance on main scale when the screw is rotated once. 
which means it is now one division on the main scale they have given so one division on main scale what is one division on the main scale it is 1 millimeter so it is 0 0.1 centimeter and that is our answer 1 we come to the least count now least count is going to be given as we saw the formula here pitch upon the number number of circular scale division so we will have pitch upon the circular scale divisions now how many circular scale divisions do we have there are 50 circular scale divisions so there are 50 the pitch is already given as 0 0.1 so i'm going to make this as 1 upon 50 into 10 and take this 1 fifth that gives us 0 0.2 and that upon 100 so it gives us 0 0.002 centimeter this is our least count now in order to see the diameter of the rod we have to see first how many main scale readings are there main scale divisions there are six and six divisions become 0 0.6 centimeter and so diameter of the rod is going to be equal to main scale reading plus circular scale reading main scale reading is how many divisions we saw six divisions so that is 0 0.6 centimeter plus circular scale reading we already saw the circular scale division now circular scale division multiplied by least count just like how we did for vernier vernier scale division into least count we are doing exactly the same thing so that will give 0 0.6 centimeter plus circular scale division are 22 multiplied by least count is 0 0.002 put that in bracket write that is in centimeter that is giving 0 0.6 centimeter plus 0 0.044 centimeter and that gives us 0 0.644 centimeter which is the diameter of the rod now if i want radius radius becomes diameter divided by 2 so it becomes 0 0.644 centimeter upon 2 and that will give 0 0.322 centimeter now we come to the next type of question which is going to be linked with our earlier question question 2 only thing is that i'm going to add a zero error here now you will see that when the two jaws of the two studs of the micrometer when they are absolutely coinciding with each other touching each other the zero of the circular scale should actually come here it should rotate in such a way that this zero line will come exactly coinciding with the main scale line like this so you will see that as we are rotating clockwise when we are advancing the screw the zero of the circular scale has not yet come which means the reading that we will get is going to be lesser so you will see that here i am going to get reading which is more by these many divisions so this is called as the positive zero error so when do you see the positive error the when do you see the positive zero error the positive zero error will be when the zero of circular scale is below or behind the main scale 
So that gives you the positive zero error. Now in order to find the zero error, which is positive zero error, we will look at the circular scale division. Which division is coinciding? So it is the second one that is coinciding. You can see that. So it is going to be the circular scale division multiplied by the least count. Which is the circular scale division? The second one. So two divisions multiplied by least count which we already found out there. It is 0.02 centimeter. So we will see that the positive zero error is 0.004 centimeter. Therefore, true reading of the radius of the rod is going to be what we found was 0 0.322 centimeter and from that you are going to subtract. So remember the zero correction is going to be negative if zero error is positive. So we will subtract 0 0.004 centimeter and that will give 0 0.318 centimeter. And that would be our final answer. Now suppose this zero had crossed over and zero had come here let us say then we would have got lesser reading and in, the, the, in that case we would have got negative zero error if it is negative zero error we would have added the zero error and in that case our reading would have been 0 0.326 centimeters why because the zero error was negative if in this case so you will see that by now you have understood how to find the pitch of the screw to get the least count of this uh, micrometer also take the reading and also to deal with the zero errors the positive as well as negative so now i hope you are confident about micrometer numericals thank you for watching